What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode of Viking Squad. Uh, this game looked pretty badass. I mean, if you like Vikings and you like side-scrolling combat and all that kind of stuff, this game is going to scratch a lot of itches for you. I've talked about this about a thousand times in the past, that Streets of Rage 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. I've beaten Streets of Rage 2 literally probably about a thousand times, maybe two thousand times. Like, I still, every week or so, I'll play the game and beat it again. I love Streets of Rage 2. I don't know what it is about that game. I'm just kind of obsessive about it. And so Viking Squad is kind of like that. We got to pick our Viking. Which Vi Does it matter which Viking we pick? Oh, she's pretty badass. Although I like the skinny purple dude too. Oh man, I don't know who I should... Are they all like... Are they all linearly the same? Although he's sword and board. Man, every single Viking has something that I like. Like him right there. I play sword and board characters. I love sword and board characters. Don't really care about him. I'll be honest with you. I don't like battle axes, so eh. She's got the color scheme that I like. And she's got a war hammer, my favorite weapon. And then he's got royal purple, and he's got kind of like the lanky stabby guy thing going on. Which is what I went for when we played Mother Russia Bleeds. I like the lanky stabby guys, you know what I mean? I don't know who I want to play. Let's play her, though. I think I'm going to go with color scheme. I'm going to go with color scheme and Warhammer versus, you know, other choices. Oh, it's on now. Alright, let me get used to this here. Alright, so it looks like... I'm playing with a controller right now because I firmly believe the only way you should be playing a game like this is with a controller. Oh, we can destroy the bushes. Okay. That's pretty sweet. So the X button, we can appear to mash that and that allows us to attack things. The Y button makes us do like a little diarrhea stomp thing. There it is. Okay. The B button doesn't appear to do anything. A makes us jump. Shoulder buttons don't do anything. Looks like the left trigger allows us to slide. And then the stick buttons don't do anything either just yet. Now, those might unlock later. Oh, we can dash. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Dashing forward! Ah! Forget you, Illumination Source. You must die for the glory of Viking goodness. Viking goodness! It seems like the kind of game that would really... It should have, like, a heavy metal soundtrack. So is that, like, the only thing... Ooh, there's a bunny. I'm gonna slay it. Die! I defeat you, bunny. Well, the bunny was apparently... You ever met a bunny you could hit with a war hammer? And it was just like, fine. Oh, so we can mix that in. Oh, we can mix that in as a combo. Okay. So I can do like a knock-up. Okay, that makes sense. That's understandable. Look at the fidelity of like the animation right now. Like, holy shit, man. Like, it looks so clean and so good. This is like the definition of HD animation. You know what I mean? It just looks good. So I can, it looks like I can pick that up, and I can throw it. Okay, so there's obstacles. What happens if I throw this at, like, a lamp? Does anything happen right there? Nothing. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. People are storing their giant dinner plate-sized coins inside crates again. Oh, I can push. Oh, I can move. Wow. That's a beefy lady right there. That's a brawny lady right there. That's a lady who knows how to lift some weight. Okay. A lady after my own heart. Can I hit the bunny? Like, let's say, why does this, he needs a belt? Why does he need a, take that bunny. No, my bunny gold. What is this? I think I did something bad. I think I broke the universe. Oh, but he gave me a big gemstone back, so that's cool. I like big gemstones. Oh, no, there's enemies. Beat them up. They gotta go! Wah! Oh, you can stop them while they're on the ground. That's very Vikingy too. Wow, this is like kind of fast-paced. I don't know that Vikings go wea when they attack. That guy's done. This guy over here needs to get it though. Stop him while he's down. Yeah, stop him in the nuts. Stop him in the nuts. Ooh, a key. So do I have to backtrack now? Oh, you can actually go left as well. Okay. So this is a little bit different from other beat-em-ups where you can go left and you can go right. We've got the key. We'll go through the door. Let me grab that. I'm going to throw it at the wall because you can never... T I'm going to take this with me too. Who wants to fight me? Who wants to know me? So left shoulder button. Oh, we can't go back once we... Okay, so it's only on some maps you can backtrack. So these appear to be like rage orbs or something. Oh, wow. We get like a super attack? Holy shit, that was amazing. We just wiped out the whole screen. Hell yeah. No, you go up in the air, and then I'm going to stomp you back down, DBZ style. Stomp them out real quick. It actually feels a lot like Castle Crashers. 
just faster paced. Like, this seems really, really fast paced, which is not going to work with me because I'm a slow paced kind of person. I'm like really, really slow paced. I... Well, I don't know if I wanted to do that, but it worked pretty well. So, you know what? Just. Oh, it's not charged up yet. When does it charge up again? There it goes. Ugh, stop him. Yeah, buddy. I'll slide through to this side, and then I'm actually, I was going to try anyways. I was going to try and stomp him out, but it didn't go down that way. That dude just tried to shank me, prison style. Hell no, we stomp nuts over that, homie. Uh-uh, it's done. Are there coins inside the torches, or does it not matter? I don't think it matters. Let's just keep trucking. Man, somebody graffitied all over these walls. This used to be such a nice Viking hall, too, and such a nice Viking neighborhood. No longer. It's no longer a nice Viking hood. No, he's stealing my embellishments. My 5,000 carat gems. You have no idea how long those took. Nor how many bunnies had to be slayed to acquire that many carrots. Horses? Horses. Let's go with horses. I already did bunny humor this. We've already got bunny humor this episode. Oh, good. I've got to avoid being stomped out by things falling from the ceiling. I'm going to practice my sliding skills. Sliding like I'm going into third. He took my gemstones. I feel vaguely insulted. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a horde. I've got to take it back to Gotcha. If I take it back to my ship, I get something. Okay. Cool. I don't like how our ship doesn't match our color scheme. I really feel like as a Viking, matching your clothing up with your boat is probably the pinnacle of bad acidness. So what does that guy matter? Like, is that guy like our boss? He seems a little bestial to be our boss. What does that do? I can do luck plus. Oh, it's like an aura that I put on my weapon. I thought that maybe I had to purchase it and I was terrified about wasting my currency. We've also got like a new... Well, that's our old Viking hat. It gives us... Oh, apparently there's a bunch of hats you can have too. And I love everything about hats. So you know what? Let's try to stick with it here. Did I just get paid gold for hitting, like, a target dummy? Pay me the money. Pay me the money. Oh, look at that. You get coins for maintaining combos. Okay, what does this guy do? He's a skill trainer. We get rune power. We can get attack damage. I'm going to take attack damage. You have unlocked a new attack. Sprint plus X. Oh, good. Let's go with, let's go with attack damage oh yeah look at that I've got like a little thunder bash thing this guy's getting his jam session on he's got a solid gold looty how amazing is that that's I bet Gibson made that right there it probably cost it it's a literal gold top let's see here beefy McBeeferson reach max level with one character find your first piece of gear okay so he's like an achievement thing this guy over here valor charge you get four to get your valor attack he's got keys a potion upgrade or a potion of health Sorry, I can't afford anything right now. I gotta go out and pillage and plunder. I'll be right back. If only life was that simple, you'd be like, listen, I don't have any cash right now. Let me grab the Glock. I'm gonna go outside real quick. I'll be back in two or three hours. I gotta go pillage. Just running in between people's houses like, ah! Pop, 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 pop. Give me what I want! I mean, on one hand, if it was you being the aggressor, that would kind of be, o oh man, it would be okay. However, if everybody played... You got, like, Corpaclani music in the background. <laughs> what ka? That's right, you little bastards. That's right, get whooped on. You little no-good polar bear-ass chiselers. That's what they are. They're chiselers. Getting taken out. Do the trees have any monetary value? I mean, sometimes, if we gotta destroy a tree, I guess Smokey the Bear's gonna have to suffer for a little bit. Because, oh, shit, these guys are a little bit buffered in the last one. And then they got a little froze. Okay, I got you. You don't want to step. 
You don't want to step. So, yep, you get stomped out just like everybody else. Got to stay on them, though. We got to ride these dudes down to the ground. Ooh, the big hit right there. Yep, keep stomping. Did he drop anything? Can I steal his hat? They've got Ushankas. I want an Ushanka. Ooh, there's actually platforming, too. This surprises me. Those guys have back-mounted cannons. So let's never be a part of that arms race. That just seems like a bad plan. The combos seem to expire pretty quickly. I don't know if that's by design or maybe if combos are shared in between players on screen. But they seem to expire really, really quickly, making it quite difficult to stack up hits against anything that's not actively like sharing screen space. Like not sharing a lair, basically. Can I go inside these houses or anything? No? Okay, I can't go inside the house. My character's a badass. I'd marry this girl in a heartbeat. Except that I'm already married now, so now what are you going to do? Ugh, keep stomping. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say they should maybe extend out the combo length by maybe like a half second longer so that you can do transfers in between enemies and then maintain the combo and get it up like nice and beefy. Because right now it seems like maybe, maybe as I level up I get more things that link my combo. Or maybe the combo timer goes up as we level up. I don't know. We haven't seen... Ooh, gold. Yes, please. We haven't seen a lot of the internal mechanics of the game yet, so we'll figure it out. Oh, the lanterns explode. Okay, that's a thing to know. Ah, Viking treasure. Huzzah for me. This is one of those games that I can tell I'm going to play. I played way... What does this do? Oh, they're like frost bombs. Can he blow himself up with his own bomb? There we go. So it looks like you got to use the frost bomb to get him frozen up. And then that gives you openings. Oh, he's inside. Come on, you can't hide inside the box, man. You know I'm going to get you. You know I'm going to get you because I'm a sexy Viking lady with a Warhammer. Ooh, that was a good one right there. That 14 hit combo. <laughs> I love the sound she makes when you do that. You're like, yeah! Like, I, I like the sound. The sound effect when I do that little stompy ability is the best. So there's one land right there. Can I break this? Yes, I can. Give me all of your dog gold. That's a huge bird right there. What do these do? Oh, they restore my HP. I should have known better. Everybody knows that in every fighting game... What is... <gasps> Attack plus. Apparently, I picked up a piece of gear. That guy dropped a sword when I whooped it out of him. I want to know where he was keeping the sword. I hope it wasn't in his prison pocket. He got it up in his pokey. You know what I mean? It seems like if somebody extricated a weapon that was hidden in your pokey by force... Oh, no, I've been frozen. Okay. That's not that bad. Like, I thought being frozen was going to be a much larger pain in my ass than it turned out to be. Oh, I wasted that one right there, too. Ooh, that guy got smacked down. Yeah, you don't even have time to transfer in between two opponents that are side by side. They may want to increase that just slightly. But then again, I'm a combo addict. I'm the kind of person that likes to stack, like, 200 hit combos and stuff as I go through, like, an entire level. Oh, wow, he made the whole screen. Ow, twice. Little bastard. You better rethink that decision, son. About to get beat down, Haas. With this hammer that appears to be made out of old 1800 statue. Oh, shit. What's he got going on? He's a treasure goblin, ain't he? He's gotta be. Okay, so he's the treasure goblin. We can beat him up and we can take all of his hard-earned cash, which I assume was going home to his goblin family to maybe pay his bills or help out with his rent or something. Sorry, guys. I need to know. Oh, dude. I just got whooped on. No. How are you going to get beat up by a penguin? That attack should also not account for, not have accounted from behind. It's always weird when attacks in video games have like a box that encompasses like the back of your character too when they're going forwards. 
Like, you know what I mean. Like, let's say I'm standing here, and I... Well, I'm standing here, and there's a guy in front of me, and he attacks the direction that is not the direct... He attacks left, not right. But it still hits you when you're behind him, even though, like, he didn't clip you or whatever. Random stuff like that. I'm just like, eh. Hey. Still, we look badass. That's all that matters. I don't really want these guys to, like, fall off of this. Because when they do, I don't think they have a chance of dropping loot. Is that a checkpoint? What is that? Ooh. I don't know how I use the health potion. Ah, okay. So use the health potion by pressing the B button. That sign clearly says no Vikings allowed. It seems to indicate some kind of mortality for Vikings that may or may not be in the area. Shock and awe. Shouldn't awe be like adorable though? I feel like awe should be really, really cute. There it is. Ooh, that did damage. There we go. We'll slide through them. Do they share a health bar? Oh, look at that. He's got like a little beer. Give me your beer. You're not allowed to have beer around me. I am a Viking. Your beer is now my beer. What is this? Ooh, a new helmet. And that one appears to have a piece of wood stuck to the front of it. Hooray, wood helmet! Who art thou, potion Venda? Like, well, it clearly sounds like you already know who I am. So, uh... Do we really need to answer this question? I'd be like, you know what, Potion Vendor? You're not as fun as some of the other supporting cast. You know that? You don't make me happy like they make me happy. Nope. I'm sorry. I need your little thingy. I don't know what it is, but I want it. I can go in here? The dig site. Ooh. I went into a background area. I like that. Got kind of like a River City ransom thing going on. Oh, no. Please stop. I don't know if you're trying to harm me right now if you're just showboating. Ooh. That's a treasure right there. A giant golden fish. I think I'll probably just ignore everything else that's going on. Is it possible that... There we go. I gotta destroy that thing. Fishy, you wait right there. I shall name you Douglas, Lord of the Fishes. Hmm. I hope Douglas can survive like these seismically inspired things that are happening. Ow, I've been shanked. And chances are he's probably going to try that same shit in just a minute. Oh, I'm going to stomp this dude. No! I wanted to stomp you! That's all that I desired was to stomp. Viking stomp good. Doggies don't bad. No, it's my giant golden fishy with neck testicles. It's mine. He's also got a pretty rockin' sash. I don't know what you have to do in fish society to get a sash like that. But I assume you have to do some activity. I don't think I'm down with playing around with the spear ones. They tend to get up inside my business and make my life difficult. Although that entire group just got leveled. Ow, my ass. Oof. No, my jump's not working. Ah! Okay, so we need to plan this out. One down. Oh, there's a meat. There's a meat. I need that. Oh, it's because you can't jump over the guy with the barrel around him. Oh, good. The enemies seem to be much more frequent with their... Yeah, you can't jump over the guy inside the barrel. Okay, so that's what I was messing up. Give me my HP, and you all got to go. I didn't have enough for a super right there, so I couldn't drop it on him. I really, really wished that I had had a super right there. But unfortunately, no super was had. I figured this was how it was going to play out. This is a multiplayer game, by the way. You can play with all of your friends. I don't have any of those right now, so unfortunately, I'm stuck by myself just... Vikinging in my loneliness. So what happens if I... Can I destroy this? I can. Ha ha. Attack down, but luck up. Okay. I wonder if any of these actually change the way my weapon looks. Or like my helmet looks or whatever. 
Got a potion right there. I'm going to hold on to that until we find ourselves in dire, dire straits. Oh, good. I still have my giant golden fishy. Hooray, giant golden fishy. Oh, and now I've got a giant real fishy. Man, life just keeps getting better and better and better. One for the tax collectors and one for my gullet. Yeah, I would strongly suggest that we do that right there because our HP has not been looking so good lately. Viking coinage. Hey, you come with me. <laughs> you ever been beat down with Donald Trump's fish? Well, you have now. Sometimes I wonder what it must feel like to be so wealthy that you never have to worry about anything in life. Like, you're so wealthy that nothing bad can happen to you. You're basically impervious to, like, horrible shit happening. Like, I'm not talking about being, like, a millionaire. I'm talking about being, like, Bill Gates rich. Like, what does that even feel like to know that no matter what, you can just buy your way out of this problem? Like, regardless of anything that happens, you can just be like, I will throw an absurd amount of commas at this. And... But I can dash through him, so that's good. I'll keep that in mind for later. I wonder if his bombs hurt his own homies. Oh, he's inside the crate again. Alright, he's down. Ah! Almost made it, but I did get enough. I've got enough now to where I can blow up enemies on screen if I really, really want to. It must be like a really, really relaxing feeling. Like, it's gotta feel amazing just knowing that nothing can happen to you. You'd be like, oh, well... I fixed this problem by virtue of being able to pay ridiculous experts to get it done. Oh, I can knock them into the water and it makes my life easier. Ow. Damn. No! You also cannot dash out of your attacks, which is a thing that I just learned. So if you're in the middle of an attack animation, you cannot dash. That is not a feature of this title. I am going to drink a potion very quickly. Even though I assume... Oh, like hell you did. It's a bat bomb. By Wayne Tech. When did Wayne Enterprises become Wayne Tech, by the way? Like, when did that get swapped over? Because when I was a kid, it was Wayne Enterprises. Now it's Wayne Tech. And I'm not sure that I like Wayne Tech quite as much. Wayne Tech just doesn't have the same ring to it. Like, Wayne Enterprises sounds baller. Wayne Tech just sounds like he makes iPhone apps or something. Like, eh, who cares? That's where his fortune came from. He's been monetizing Gotham's Candy Crush. No, don't leave that behind. I need that. I just wanted to break this fish crate first. Man, we got cash money right now. Oh, that that crab had a coin. And he was so happy about it. I couldn't bring myself to murder him. I just didn't want to murder... Oh, there's a big crab right there. I bet there's a big crab coming. Oh, how did I know? It's Pinchy! No! Not the eponymously named Mr. Pinchy. Dude, how dare you attack my... Ow. That's right, I smite you with my super. Because I just don't give a damn. I'm going to try not to get greedy with this guy. Oh, shit. Well, I suppose I messed that up. I wonder if my dash gives me immunity to damage? And you can't do that little trick right there. So some fighting games you can get slightly below them on a lair. And then when you get slightly below them you can still hit them but they can't hit you based on their hitboxes. You gotta check it. You gotta try. You gotta try all the old exploits from the 80s and 90s. Yeah, he's a little, he's a little nastier than I expected. I'll be honest with you. I'm just gonna try and get like two hits off each time I go in. There we go. We'll get him with... Oh, shit. There we go. I think we got him. Keep beating him. Yeah! Let him have it. Your house is a treasure chest. You're basically a subterranean, cavernous, chitinous hobo. Ooh. R attack up. I don't know what that means, but... It's got the word R in it, so I assume it's like piratey weapons. All I really want to do is take this treasure back to my ship. That's like all that I care about. Just give me it. Yay, we set sail. 
This is Viking Squad. My name is Splattercat. Super stoked to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and play a beat em up game. I don't get these very often. Beat em up games do not happen in my life very frequently, and so I like to play them when they come out. Some people don't like beat em ups. They find them to be old fashioned and they just don't get into it. I love beat em ups. I wish there was more. I wish that Streets of Rage 4 would come out, but it's been abandoned. I would see you all next time around. I'm going to do some upgrades in the next episode. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Make sure you uh, check out the Patreon if you like the content that I create. Patreon.com slash Splattercat, and I will see you all later. All right? Bye, everybody.